I like focusing in on kind of a specific aspect of a garment. My question for you, and this is something that like came up in, for me while looking at the runway, what's the difference between a frill and a ruffle? Great question. I think I'm gonna get mathematical with it, mm. and I'm gonna get geometric with my answer. So in the same way that every rectangle is a square, mm. not every square is a rectangle. Wait, I said that opposite. Every square, no, yeah, every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle, not every is, rectangle a is a square. There we go. Every every ruffle is a frill, but not every frill is a ruffle. There's lots of different types of frills. And I think okay. we kind of saw people interpret the term frill in different ways. Like mm. frilly, if something's frilly, it can be like, like uh, Ginger, before we get into the looks of me, like Ginger had like, uh, she didn't have like a ruffle, she had like just flowing organza, right? Yeah. We had Yara who had hair and she made frilly hair. Um, so a ruffle is a type of frill. Is my That's my long-winded way to say that. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, and frill also means like outside of the sort of like technical definition of it, it means something that's kind of like extra, a little like accessory, something that's not really necessary. So these are also things that we can see like put into the looks and the thought behind that. So shall we get into it? See, see if anything Dave, frilled us? Let's get into it. Okay, up first, Akira C. Davenport. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, this is a pretty close copy of a, I think it was a Miss Universe national costume. Yeah. And it was, I wanna say it was like a Southeast Asian country. It was their national flower. And it was done in this like beautiful, like huge reds. Uh, and it had a similar sort of like color scheme in the body, uh, bodysuit and the boots whatever, but like, bitch, to do, this is drag. She looked, I, this is such a difficult one to start with because it's my favorite. Mm. So like, we're gonna have to spend some moments with her. <laughs> Listen, like, we got time. <laughs> this, this is a Joshua Aponte original, like who designed it. Mm -hmm. um, and put it together, obviously inspired by that Miss Universe contestant's outfit. Um, it's, and he is Chicago. He's from Chicago too. So many Chicago things going on. Um, so many. It's unreal. It is unreal. Like the thigh high boot is stunning. The bodysuit, and you know, I, we all, everyone hates bodysuits, but bodysuits have a place. And like clearly, this is an elevated, a lifted body a lifted, suit, if yes. you will. Um, lifted. The headpiece is great, and I think Trixie said this on the pit stop, but she was like, "I really love a runway that evolves as yes. this queen walks down the runway." So she was like in the flower petal, then she was like this open know, flower the sternum, not not the sternum, the stamen. It's like the, the, the like sexual reproductive organ of the flower. It's made of hat material. It seems to be made of like foam covered foam. in fabric. And it was like floppy. It was moving around everywhere. The hair looks really cheap. This is also just like a rather unflattering facial photo that we have of her, but not gonna do much for anyone. I, I don't like this at all. <laughs> it like it's giving me a regular season runway which is you don't want that to be the case on all stars but you know what it's actually it's kind of giving me bottom two of a regular season runway like this look is preposterous it is i don't know why how you could get the brief thrill like you get the brief Thrill. And my mind goes in a million different directions. My mind would never go to, I'm gonna be a cowboy, cowgirl, cow person. Cow folk. And cow folk. <laughs> and make really chat. And it's falling into that syndrome of more is more, 
because she thinks that more frill on the chap means it's more, it's better. But it's like, no, it just makes you look like a blob. And the, the hair, the hair looks so bad. Like I can't get over it. That is a wig that you find in the back of Chloré at Dufferin Station. And the lady tells you that the display one is the only one they have left. And the lace is not for Eureka skin tone. And it's truly like a $15 wig. I don't know. And then the hat was giving me like Looney Tunes, but like really like cosplay. Someone likes someone's first cosplay of like the Looney Tunes. Who's the one with the big hat? It was bad. It was, it was like bad. Um, and it just lacks any sense of of aesthetic. You know what I mean? Like there isn't any kind of reference here other than cow folk, and it's not elevated. It's not. It's not even thrifted. <laughs> it it looks like it was made out of like it was two things thrown together without any thought like it was a ruffle coat and a bodysuit that just like didn't quite make it through i i think the hair is actually the thing that is bothering me the most if it if the hair was bigger i think it might have helped it a little bit because right now like between the hat and the like neckline of the bodysuit is just kind of like compressing her face in between all of this pink and yeah garden just... plaza said similar pin to ginger's last week look yeah yeah i also i don't know what the fuck these judges were smoking when they were like this is really fun what <laughs> that's really fun no it doesn't look fun it looks it looks not costumey because I think costumey is, is fine, but it, it looks like she literally went to Party City, yeah. got the thing that was labeled cow folk, put it on, and then said, "What can I do to elevate this? Just stick a bunch of fucking ruffles up the legs, and then I'm gonna get a foam hat. I'm gonna get a foam hat that's has like fabric laid over top of it. I can't say enough bad things about this look. She, if I were judging." he would have been in the bottom just for the look alone yeah it's really hasn't been taken anywhere i feel like this is like i want to say this is like the second fitting of the look and there were like maybe two more stages of what this was going to be and then it just never got there but what hair would you even want with this the only thing that comes to mind is like if the hair was sort of like bigger and more sculptural it feels like there would have been some balance to the bottom of the outfit that wasn't the hat yeah i don't know <laughs> lindsay's like y'all we've had it just, god bless god bless um we got all minj jinj minj jinj this is the best she's looked this season i don't think that's saying a whole lot I, I hate this. I don't like this look at all. I think she looks so small. Like the silhouette is very strange on her. I think if you're going for this look, there needs to be so many more uh, tears mm. in the in the trim, in the frill, yeah. right? It's like. If the organza is going to be that first little flop, why is the next organza, the so tier, next down. tier of organza, that far down? Like, it should be, there should be so many. Like, if it was a denser skirt, if it was more, just more fabric, because yeah. then also, like, if, if I'm looking at this, there's only two frills. That's what the I was going to say, too, is like the lack of density almost makes it lose the frill factor. It's just I, kind of uh, people people love the wig. I think the wig is fun. The wig is the nicest part about it. It yeah. It's, okay, this is truly the case of Ginger. Is like 
she takes it a little too literal when it comes to a runway mm -hmm. where like the theme is frills so she was like okay i'm gonna watch gone with the wind or like north or south north and south or you know but like a stage lady. production of it i'm gonna watch a like, then, bootlegged broadway production of gone with the wind and then i'm gonna get one of these costumes made in purple that's the thing is it's just getting the costume made she's doing a lot of just like that's what i want and it's like a period piece and like that's it and it's like no what are you doing like if if you're doing imagine if if because she is so small and she should be looking i mean if if you're small that's fine i'm a giant but like if i would want to elongate imagine this look with like a slit that goes all the way up her thigh and then it's just like an asymmetrical very tiered frill outfit and like you elevate it into something different like this is literally just a period piece like she's she looks like she's auditioning for the off-broadway production of my fair lady like it's, it's yeah as an extra it's <laughs> it's thrifted <laughs> it, it is thrifted yeah when you were talking about your sort of like changes you would make to this, it brought me back to there was a like Victor and Rolf collection that was yes. these very like structural, like layers and layers and layers of tulle garment with these like really dramatic cutaways into very like body con things. If she done something like that and just like done this sort of like diagonal cut, cut out sort of the bottom triangle of it, that would have been great. I, uh, okay, so like, I know exactly the collection by Victor and Rolf that you're talking about. It's it's all ruffles, and then they just like cut holes yeah. into the ruffles and like sickening. And then there's also, oh my god, that I don't know who, maybe it's Moschino, but the like no photos, please. Just like the text on top of these massively ruffly gowns. Also I think that was also you know, Victor like, and Rolf. Yes. That was also Victor and Rolf? Okay. Yeah. Um like that mixed with my fair lady would be so cool. So, so, so cool. But this, yeah, it's basic. I, Garden Plaza said in the chat, I think Imara said something about Ginger Minj maxing her stats uh, yeah. into entertainment and no fashion. And this is true this week. Great TV, love her, but no fashion. I don't even know if I enjoy watching Ginger Minj on TV. I don't even find her that interesting as a as a personality. Like, this is get, straying away from the fashion, but I'm not even that entertained by just like her personality on the show like i'm much more entertained by raja o'hara or kylie sony love or fucking scarlet envy in the shark costume i just need to bring up that fashion moment that we got in the episode um but yeah i'm just not feeling ginger yeah it's a it's a thrifted for me okay jam giving us like moulin in the spirit of like theater productions we're getting moulin rouge we are getting Moulin Rouge, but it's a little bit more like cowboy west, cow, cow folk. Yes. <laughs> it's a little more cow folk western. Um, saloon. Yeah. Saloon dancer. Saloon dancer. How do you feel about this? Because I'm very torn. I, okay, this is just going to be me being super nitpicky. If you're going to wear a corset as a feature of your garment and it is not going to give you any distinct shape, why are you wearing a corset? Like, I'm wearing a corset and I'm sitting down. Right. <laughs> I'm I'm not wearing it. Oh, look at you, bitch. Oh, that looks, oh my God, you look like Annie Lennox. It's, it's very Annie Lennox down. Annie Lennox. Uh, Annie, Annie Annex. That's a place in Toronto. Um, I need to practice my microphone work. I'm going to get back to live shows and not know how to talk to people. Um, it still feels costumey. A lot of these feel costumey to me. I think it was a lot to do with the fabric choices of this. And, and like a fabric choices of a lot of the works. This also like the hair, this feels more matronly than her like upgraded look in this. It's just like the curl pattern around the head. And it, it feels like it sort of like it dates it from here up a little bit more for her. Yeah, there's a good point brought up in the chat, like what people, like what fabrics people have available to them 
during COVID. But again, it's just sort of like a, I, uh, like an aesthetic choice thing where again, if I was told the theme is ruffles, this would be my last thought. Like my last thought would be saloon girl. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But what comes to mind for you if you were given the brief frills? What immediately shoots to your mind? I mean, other than that, the Victor and Rolf collection. <laughs> that that is the first thing that I think. But uh, also, there was a I think it was Alexander McQueen twenty two thousand seven collection that was this very sort of like floral, like almost Victorian. There was a lot of like caging in the bodices and sheer fabrics and things like that. I feel like I could have done something cool like that. And there was a lot of like draping of uh, sort of like chiffons and things, which to me feels more sort of like frilly and floral in a more uh, elevated or like runway way. Yeah, so for me, like when I think of frill, for some reason, and maybe this is just because I like, you know, Drag Race Down Under recently aired, but like figuring out how to make like a swamp witch frilly, like seaweed uh. frilly. Like I really love that look that uh, Art Simone got eliminated in. And I think that that's a cool thing that could have easily lent itself to like in a fashion aesthetic. And also campy, because that's also a bit of my yeah. aesthetic as well, of like a campy approach to frills um, that isn't, this kind of like, I'm just, maybe I'm bored by the, as I'm wearing fucking ruffles, but maybe I'm just bored by the ruffles. Yeah, I, I was gonna say my other direction I would have gone is like full camp Moschino and like had a dress that looked like a no frills grocery bag. <laughs> no frills, okay, okay, I was doing my makeup tonight and no frills came to mind. If it was Canada with Drag Race, that would make so much sense. You might get told like, you can't do that because of copyright, but like- But also I how would... good would that be? Imagine if you once came down the runway in a bright yellow gown or outfit, it just said and in no black frills. text, all it said was frills. Like, no, yeah. or it said no on the, the back. Nose. Pardon? It said no on the back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's like, that's, that's really funny. And I think that that's also like a, a cool way to take this. This to me is just, it, you know, it, she met the brief, I guess, but it doesn't do it for me. Yeah. It's also just very dark. It is a very dark, it's very muddy. I find that color combination, sorry, Lizzie, I know we just moved on, but that color combination looks, it, it's hard to make that color combo look expensive. It, yeah, like the focus is not really on the garment, it's on her skin and on her face. Because, yeah, because the contrast is so stark. Yeah, agree. Anyway. Miss Cathy Sonique Love. She looks great. Giving us uh, Portuguese Man of War, I think was the joke yes. that Michelle said on the runway. I, I really liked this. This is giving me very much Kylie Minogue, like Aphrodite tour costume. And I am very much here for all of those things. I like, she looks so good in so little clothing, it makes me upset. And I, uh, I just want to see her like twirl around in this on stage. I think she has the right movement for this. I think what would have made it like extra special beautiful would have been if like there were little lights hidden mm. in the like the in the frills i think that would have also been really beautiful to just hide that like sew them in so that oh, they're yeah. they're obviously not like you know lights just peeking out but if this was lit up like oh. throughout those different tendrils of the portuguese man of war <laughs> i think it would be really beautiful and i think i see garden plaza's comment in the chat they don't like the hair the hair is not my favorite it's 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 an asymmetrical bob. Mm -hmm. Um, I just don't know what I would have done. I mean, she could have just done like a sleek bob. Like it didn't need to be this kind of wavy bob. It could have just been like a long ponytail. A, I actually don't think I would have done a ponytail with this look. No, no? I think I think like a very I'm just, biased just I'm wearing one right now. <laughs> I'm just biased because I'm wearing one right now. So oh, can we see the ponytail? Hair choice for everything. Oh, there you go. Um, okay, yeah, so the, the, Lizzie makes a good point in the chat, like, the, the hair does cut, it cuts at the right point, I think that it doesn't look the most styled, 
like they look like this part is just like right like he's kind of just like jutting out of, of, of her head so i maybe would have just liked a more sleek like straight bone straight hair um with the look but that's that's just nitpicky because i think overall apart from akiria this is one of my favorite looks. this was really nice i i agree i think it could have also been fun if there was like something a bit more sculptural about the hair just because the rest of the garment is so free flowing that to sort of like bring some focus back up to her face it would have been cool to have maybe a bit more of like a structured updo or something like that or one of those like really cool like more like geometric like hair sculpture type things um and also maybe in a a different color i don't know i kind of wish there I mean, was like a matching of the iridescence of the garment in the hair I think this this outfit lends itself to those wigs with like tinsel yeah. in the wig. It lends yes. itself to that. Yes, it, yes. it also lends itself to a a wig that is made of something that is not hair. synthetic hair or human hair. Like it lends itself to a piece that you know fascinator. it could be it's like a really cool fascinator. Uh, a really Again. cool fascinator. <laughs> it could have been a little cute. Like oh my god, imagine if she was just it was just like you know. Uh, like one of those like fashion turbans that women women wore to the pool, and then she just like, oh yeah 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 diamond crusted it. Imagine if it was like a B crystal little like boop headpiece, and it's like oh she's just at the beach, she's just tanning. Yeah. Like I think that that would have been better than this hair, but if, I'm, honestly we're nitpicking the hair. Like the way if the way yeah, is the yeah. only issue, I think the look is lifted. Lifted for sure. Pandora box. So I watched the pit stop and Monique Hart said this was her least favorite look. Yeah, I mean, it's not worse than Eureka's for me. It feels like there was more thought and more work put into this than there was into Eureka's, but I don't think it does Pandora any favors. It's giving me, who's the current uh, creative director of Chanel? Director, mm. I'm forgetting her name. I think it's a woman. Oh, Virginie Viard. Virginie Viard. Is, is that who it is? Am I thinking about Chanel? There's a fashion brand where who does all the tweed? Is that Dior? The like tweed jackets and the tweed Burberry? coats and no. One second. One second. You keep talking about the look, I'll find it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for me, this is, like, my first thought when I saw this was it looks like a, like, doll from the early sort of, like, 20th century, maybe. And it's giving me, like, whatever happened to Baby Jane in not a particularly great way. It feels like she's trying to go for this kind of, like, youthful look or at least that's how it's reading to me with the like the ponytail the sort of like side swept bang the length of the skirt the color palette feels very sort of like baby's nursery to me these sort of like powder blues and i don't know if it's the pink coming through the lights uh, or the sleeves themselves actually have some sheer to them um that's right yesterday i called this harajuku steampunk <laughs> <laughs> it it is it is kind of Harajuku steampunk. I it, I totally yeah. agree with what you're saying. I I think okay, not being ageist, anyone of any age can wear anything. It's just like I don't like when adults wear things that are clearly meant to be like school girly or like young childy and this is giving me remember season five and Coco Montrese had that baby look I'm that was traumatized unsettling. that was I'm unsettling. traumatized <laughs> yeah oh dear so I, this I, is giving me like ooh, 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 ooh. like it's giving me that and I don't like that um and also yeah I looked it up it is Chanel it's it's like Chanel is known for those tweed blazers and the tweed skirts and it's giving me very like Virginie Viard Chanel which is like very modern purpley pinky tweeds it's just that I think she got the brief of frill and she was like oh let me do maybe like a Chanel kind of thing but with instead of it being tweed I can do it in like tulle and organza and make it look frilly it's just 
And that, the factor that she look, is trying to look like a child is deeply upsetting to my psyche. And I cannot get past that. And I only see her as like trying to be a schoolgirl, and it's like deeply uncomfortable. Yeah, it, I think it, it's that factor that's really unsettling me as well. Um, Cause like trying to look at the garment itself, if I like shift slightly and block her face with the ring light, like from the shoulders down, it's like, it's one of the more cohesive looks that we've seen. Like there's more like points of interest. The focus is on the garment. I think the garment itself meets the brief for sure. Like this to me looks frilly. Like it looks like a little girl's dress. And then we see the face. And for some reason, like as I was looking at this, this was giving me like early like a Gwen Stefani music video vibes, but like not in a great way. <laughs> What's like, that song? Gwen Stefani back when she still had four Asian women as like objects. Yeah, yeah. Oh my, what is that song? What you waiting? What you waiting? Oh. oh, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's like giving Alice me that like her at the piano. It's very Alice in Wonderland, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. Raja O'Hara. She looks beautiful. Cool. This is cool. I like. I like how in this photo it looks like like waves cascading down her body. I don't particularly love, I don't know if they were like sleeves or gloves or things. I feel like she could have done without those uh, just because this color on her skin is really so lovely and it loses a bit of the intensity just with how sheer the ruffles on her arms are. But like the hair matching sort of the shape of the gown is really nice. The, like, the gown reads as roughly. It's a really beautiful color. Her fucking skin looks phenomenal. Her face looks amazing. This is, I, like, not particularly elevated, but, like, between this and Ginger's gown, this, to me, is the clearly superior one. Well, I mean, that's not... Not hard There's to not do. much of a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think... I think the issue I have with it, and it's it's not as much of an issue, like I think she looks beautiful and stunning. I just think it's very, like, I got the brief, I did the brief. I need, I have a frilly gown, I need a uh, like finger waved kind of wig. It needs to be kind of like bobbly in shape. Um, I think it would have been really cool if the hair was like more of like a tiered updo and like, you know, let's imagine it's like pooping up and then it poops outward. Mm. I think it would be really cool if she had had like a little tiara of the ruffle in the hair. And if she had done oh, it like cute. a deep red hair with the blue ruffle, I think that could have looked sickening. I mean, she could have also done like kept a gray and, and blue theme, but having tying it somehow into the hair, I think would have been stunning. I think her makeup is beautiful. I agree with you. The arms, the arms are too much. So like, I think if maybe the dress was like three ruffles shorter or two ruffles shorter would have been beautiful. And then just like, yeah, I'm seeing the chat gloves, like opera length gloves instead of the frilly arms. I don't know if this is the gloves that uh, Jackson Clear was talking about, but I want to say it's like Jan Esky on Instagram, like makes these like really ridiculous, like super full, like tool, like ruffle gloves that go like all the way up past the shoulder and have like a sculptural element to them. And I, if that's what you were talking about, I totally agree. Something like that with this would be really cool as well. Yeah, it, it's almost, it's so much frail to the point where we're like losing Raja in, mm. in it, it gets blobby. It gets blobby, not in the way that Eureka's got blobby. Like it, it, like it looked like her legs were just ruffles. This is kind of like it, it, the, the eye kind of doesn't really have a. There's no focal point. It looks like the dress is overflowing onto her arms. Agreed. Agreed. But I still think it's. I think still think it's pretty. I say it's lifted. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, thank you, Bombay. We look gorge. If we look gorge, oh. you can type in exclamation point tip, and you can tip. The Gorgina Divas. Tip us to there the left, go. tip us to the There's right. Tipping information. Look at that. So we've got Miss Scarlet Envy. 
This is okay. I feel like I can kind of, well, I can see kind of a reference in this and it's like early 2000s Dior. Uh, there was a collection of these garments that were like meant to look kind of unfinished. So it was like the draping fabric and then there was like a tool and padding in places. Uh, and there was a garment that looked very similar to this and had kind of a similar headpiece. So that's where, that's what I see it initially, but it feels like it's not quite there for me. It's, it just looks like poo. Like it looks like feces. I don't like that. It's, it's like brown tool, not easy to do. Also, there's not a lot of brown frill. Hard. This isn't no. frilly. Like the arms are frilly, but like, again, scrunched up brown looks like poo. A poo. <laughs> so Sorry, what does is... it look like? A <laughs> poo. Thank you. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, it's just like, why would this be the choice? And then if you're gonna be, I think it would have been really cool because you see how she has like the heart-shaped rhinestone uh. in the, in the, whatever structured pieces in there in the middle. In the bodice, yeah. It should have just been a full, full like cinch. And then imagine just like a bunch of frills popping, popping out of the corseted mm -hmm. thing that was in the middle. That would have looked cooler. It's also like, it's hitting her at a weird length. Are you seeing that too? Yeah, it's like above the ankle in a very weird way. It's kind of hitting that like Adore Delano length, which is mm. not what you want. Like unintentionally too short. Yeah, so it either needs to be higher, like it needs to hit her below the knee, or it needs to be to her foot, like it needs to be down to the ankle. But it's in this weird middle area, and it probably is the case that she wasn't able to do an extra fitting to mm. fix that situation. Um, what the fuck is on her head? Just fabric from the look. Who? Poo! It's poo! <laughs> yeah, see, the chat. The chat also hated her lips. I thought her lips, she like put rhinestones all on her lips. You gotta be selective with stuff like that, I find. Especially if like they're AB stones, like you're just gonna lose that aspect of your face. Yeah, because the idea is that you line your lips so that there's a depth to what's happening on the mouth, mm -hmm. but then you put stones on it, it's not adding depth, it's reflecting, reflecting light yeah. out. To see her go from her redemption look to this is disappointing. The last week she was top two, she right? Was she was so our good. top lifted look. She was she was so good, and this just doesn't feel anywhere close to it for me. Well, Garden Plaza, you are sinking on a ship of poo. The poo <laughs> you are the, down the poo on deck. the poo deck. If you will, <laughs> with Miss Scarlet Envy, because this is yeah, it's the that was it's the no. thrifted. It did look kind of thrifted. Okay, Trinity K. Bode in I believe this was the gown she wore second night in Miss Continental when she competed most recently. I think so. I think so. These and I agree in the chat, Lizzie. These are these are frills without these being are frills ruffles. Yes. Yeah. I remember when I first saw this gown, I immediately thought it looked like sliced jelly meat, but it has since grown on me. Do you like it? How do you feel about this? I I like it. I don't love it. There's something about the way that some of the frills are placed that I feel doesn't really help the shape of the sort of like really fitted part of the bodice. And I wish that the hair was bigger for the earrings. The The jewelry is kind of like weighing down the top of her body quite a bit. She had a gown. The reason I don't love this look is because she wore a gown in season six that was orange, like bright orange. And it was oh, yep. all of these beautiful frills. And it looks better than what she's wearing right now. Um, I don't know if I can screen share to show the the gown I'm talking about, but it's it's I find it I thought it was like kind of disappointing um, that that was the look 
that we got for this runway. Maybe I don't like this look as much, so maybe I'm not going to screen share it. Maybe I remember <laughs> it a little bit better. Um, you want to look it up, chat, can you can share? Google it. Can I screen share, Lizzie? Sorry, what'd you say? Can I screen share? Oh, yeah. Uh, one sec. Um, no? Because I think that my screen will just become whatever I'm screen sharing. Can you try that out? Let's see if Technology. that works. Seems Fingers up. crossed. Oh, there it is. Yes. There it is. Best, but I like it better than what she's wearing right now. Yeah, they. Wait, is this maybe a potential redemption look and she just switched the gown? Maybe. Wait, That's a what I'm like, Wait a damn minute. Did I crash a code? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you might have broken the Trinity code because I can definitely see this being a take on that gown. What the fuck? <laughs> because what's funny is that last week, I didn't feel like the black gown was necessarily a redemption for her promo look. Like they looked like very no, different looks. No, they looked like they were for different things. But if she... I guess if they told them, like, next week you're getting this, then she fucking planned ahead. Yeah, I don't know, but it does look eerily similar to this gown from season six. Um, and in some ways, I actually kind of prefer the that gown to the one that we were presented here. I prefer the, the volume of the, the first one. I feel like there's, again, there's not quite enough exaggeration in the right places for this, for it to, to read at full impact for me. I do think if this gown that she wore was in the orange that the other gown was in, I think that would have been, I think, beautiful. I think this color is weird. And maybe it's the lighting on the stage, but the yeah. color kind of loses intensity. Um, yeah. yeah. Because if I'm remembering for Continental, it's like almost like a, a deep pinky red, and it looks much more orange. Like it looks, it looks orange. burgundy. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. Yara Sophia. I was wondering if she was gonna do some crazy hair stuff, and I'm glad that she did. She did crazier hair stuff on All Stars 1. She did crazier hair stuff on All Stars 1, but I was hoping that there was going to be a, what would she call it in season three? Like a pop it on? Oh, a pop it on. A yeah. Pop it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping there was going to be something like that. It, this is very strange to me. This is odd. This is a strange aesthetic choice. How do you feel? <laughs> I mean, if I remember correctly, like the gown is like fringe beaded. Like it's it not is. frilled. So I think she may have gone with the other definition of frill, which is just like extra more like something unnecessary, which to me is the hair. Like the hair doesn't feel like it is for the same look as this. Uh, like a gown with this like chiffon cape. Thing. This is a this is a very strange choice to me. Yes, Lizzie, I agree. It's giving fringe. Fringe is not frill to me. For me personally, it's not. Um, and you know what? Why would you do? And beading a beading a beaded trim can be frilly. That can be frilled. Why would you do an orange beaded trim on an orange sequin gown? Why would your mind not say, maybe the back, like the base fabric, needs to be a different color so that the fringe that I'm using, that is the, the runway theme, the thing that I'm supposed to be emphasizing, why not have color contrast? Why not have like just a beige or like a cream gown with just a ton of fucking beaded fringe trim and beaded like beaded trim going on it. That way it like reads more and then get rid of the chiffon. I don't think the chiffon is necessary. I also don't think the chiffon is necessary because everything is orange. 
you lose the dress in the cape. Like, and then you lose, because then your eye, yeah, your eye has nowhere to look. The, there's so much going on. Like here, down, like your eyes just like, what the fuck am I looking at? And then there's like a cheap cape. It's giving me very Brita's cape look where like it was a beautiful gown and the cape was like paper thin. It's like, girl, the theme is cape. And it's like, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't love it. This is very thrifted and it's actually kind of giving if you go to the gown section in Value Village, it's giving a very Value Village gown mm -hmm. look. Yeah, this this feels borrowed from someone else. Definitely. Also, Mr. Mark G in the chat, I hope you're dealing well with your food poisoning. Oh Nix the best says, this does not meet the brief. And Yara's pretty though, at the very least, I agree. I agree, at least Yara's pretty, but Yara this week, pretty. Uh, we said goodbye to Miss Yara Sophia. And she was not pleased. Uh, she said, we said pop it on. She said, I'm popping fuck off. off. She said and fuck she, off. She said fuck off, fuck all of you. Um, and yeah, I think she was the one to go for this week's episode. So let's do our, our tops and our bottoms for the week. Who is your, who is your top lifted, lifted look? And our and bottom, our bottom thrifted, thrifted look. look. Who is your top thrifted look? Or top lifted look? My top lifted look. Oh my god. Who am I choosing? Akira. Yeah. Akira. Yeah, I'm right there with you. It was it was drag. It was it met the brief. It was really good. I I'm upset that she was in the bottom because I feel like that look should have saved her, but... <laughs> but, like, it was one of those looks where, like, bitch, for this look alone, you're safe yeah. as fuck. Yeah, what Jasmine Masters thought she was getting out of that gown. Akira got out of her Akira got out of that look, yeah. And you know what? Akira, with that gown, or, the, sorry, not a gown, with that outfit, a testament to the fact that a bodysuit can be very fashion-forward. And it's a bodysuit. She's wearing a bodysuit, but it's very, very elevated. Very camp over the top, but still very fashion. I thought thickening, thickening, thickening look. If anything, her and Eureka, what the fuck? Why was Eureka getting good critiques? Eureka should have been in the bottom with Yara. I mean, for the outfit alone. For the outfit alone. Yeah, Eureka's my bottom look this week. Talk to us about it. <laughs> it's just, I feel like it would have been better if she'd like kept the ruffle coat, cape part of it on. So at least it was like consistent head to toe, but like she she did a reveal and the reveal was that the outfit was worse underneath. Yeah, when you have those massive ruffle coats that are like from someone's neck to the floor, you wanted an impressive reveal. And it was just the was top half. And it was a it was yeehaw. It was a bodysuit that was not elevated. It was like it looked better with the ruffle coat on. It Eureka was saying yeehaw, and we were saying yeehaw. Yeah no. Yeah no. Yeah no. Hard pass. Um, okay, you chose Eureka just to change it up, just okay. to be a you know a different a different girl. I'm gonna say. Pandora box. I hated that. I absolutely hated what Pandora was wearing. And at least, at least, at, at least, at least Eureka's outfit was giving a bit of a drag look. It was over the top. There was a hat. If Eureka wore that to perform in at a bar, great. If Pandora box wore that in any context no what are you doing like i did not enjoy it and i've enjoyed pandora's runway in particular her lunch lady runway i, I love so. that look yeah. that she served but this was this was just not it for me in the chat scarlet being the top no 
Scarlet was not the top. If anything, Scarlet was right there with Eureka and Pandora. I didn't feel as strongly about Scarlet's negatively. Um, it was kind of forgettable for me, but I don't think that that was a top look for me. Fully agreed. Fully agreed. And, oh, let me, on camera, on camera. Focus on me. Focus on me. Um, we see, oh, I like Sonique. Yeah, Kylie's look was was great. Kylie's was up there for me as well. Mm -hmm. Garden Plaza, not Scarlett's uh, shoot. I think Scarlett's personality is a shoot. I think she was really funny when she was the left shark in the workroom. You didn't watch the episode, Imara, but like, I, she's I've just- I've seen in, the clips already. <laughs> yeah, she's in the left shark costume, just like crossing her arms, being like, how are we feeling about the challenge today? And they're having a serious conversation. <laughs> And she's just like in nodding in a shark costume. Like it's very funny. It's just the That's outfit was too. Something she was I would do. Uh, and it was too. Yeah. Yeah, Scarlet's was on definitely the lower end of the spectrum for me. It wasn't at the bottom. It was probably like Scarlet, Ginger, and Eureka were my bottom three. Actually, no. Whoa, 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 wait a second Yara. in the chat. Murky saying, I think that was the best Ginger has looked. Do you think that was the best Ginger has looked this like season? ever or this season? Because those are two different things. Just say this season. So she had the frog look. She had, what was episode one? Oh, no, that was talent, talent show. show, so there wasn't a yeah. runway. Then we had the episode three, the, the, ball. the blue ball. All of and which then was last week bad. was the future of Redemption. drag. Okay, like, yeah, saying Ginger looked her best in this look this season is accurate, but not a compliment still. I think, why was she serving better looks in season seven? She had better looks then than she did in All Stars 2 and in this All Stars season. Like, I'm very confused by her style journey. It seems to be like a style regression that she's kind of experienced. Um, yeah. and like people are really rooting for her and I'm just like, I don't feel anything compelling about Jennifer. Maybe this is her like fuck around and find out era. She's in the process of fucking around and we're all finding out that style is not her forte. Okay. Correct. Um, well, Imara, such a lovely time with you. As always, <laughs> ripping into these girls, <laughs> telling them what we think. If they ever hear it, um, I stand by what I said. <laughs> and Imara, people can follow you at at underscore Imara, right? Yes, I am on Instagram at underscore Imara. I am a double R A. Just the one name like Madonna or Cher or Jesus. Or <laughs> Priyanka. Or Priyanka, if we must. <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, technically more famous than us. <laughs> she, she is, is technically more famous she's... than us. Yes. Um, you folks can follow me at Aaron Brockovich, just as you see it spelled here on the screen. People get confused by my last name a lot. It's not that hard. It's Brock, like the Pokemon character. <laughs> and then O, like the letter O. And then Bic. I mean, it's Bitch, but Bic, like the pen company. So you're welcome. Uh, and I also uh, stream on Twitch and I play yeah. Pokemon on Twitch. So uh, if you're not watching Speakeasy, come over to my little streamy poo. Who? <laughs> Who's on my mind? It's Scarlet's <laughs> fault. I'm thinking about poo. Um, oh, no. Imara, I'm excited to watch next week's episode, but I think we have to tell folks what's happening next week. Yes. So next week we have some very special guest hosts. We have Miss. Luna Dubois, and who is our other host? Bombay. Bombay, right. They are going to be taking over and looking at next week's runways for us. Um, so you are going to be in very good hands, chat, fear not. But we will be back the week after that. I think the two of us. Yes, because you are, what are you, you have, um, you're off to Blue Mountain. I am off to Blue Mountain. Yeah, they're sending a drag queen up a mountain. I may not come back uh, if you don't hear from me. It was lovely seeing you all at least one more time. <laughs>
And then I am at Cruise and Tango's on that Friday, and I need to be there for 6.30, so I will not be able to be here next Friday. But we are both off doing busy things. The world is reopening, and yeah. um, you're going to have so much fun. Chat next, uh, next Friday with Luna and Bombay. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we won't see you next week, but be sure to tune in to Dress Code next week to see what is up. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Who? Who? Just down below.